I loved St. Basil. That cathedral was just beautiful. And being in Red Square, I never thought I'd be in Red Square. It was, it was a really neat experience. I think it's going to be really exciting. I think it's going to be a really great exchange of like cultures and, and just getting to know people from other parts of the world and, and their heritage. It's my understanding that the groups are here so far. We've got Romania, Latvia, two groups from England. One does Irish dance, one does Scottish dance. USA, France, and Thailand. The uh, Clog America International Festival Ensemble from Salt Lake City, Utah is honored to represent the United States at this solemn occasion. Representing, one flag each representing one million uh, American veterans who served in World War II. Today we went to the museum that commemorates World War II and we were able to leave um, some flowers and a flag um, to represent the veterans from America. To go through that ceremony and to see the monuments, it was just, it's a very special experience to go through that and see that and to, to be a part of that. And in Russia, who would have ever thought we would have had the opportunity to do something like that in Russia? I think we grow up a lot of times, you know, we're against this country in war, we're allies with this country, etc. And I think actually coming and experiencing the meeting, it's always, it just broadens your perspective and it makes you really appreciate the differences in culture and that we're really all just human beings wanting the same thing. We all want to, you know, live well, enjoy life, enjoy our families and our friends and that's what life's about. Browsing the museum is really hard. Um, it makes you really appreciate the culture that you're from and the freedoms that you enjoy and the things that people have done for you. For the performance, you always get kind of nervous and kind of scared to go on stage just because you're sharing so much of your culture and your people that you just get kind of nervous. And especially today, all the World War II stuff that we've been doing has really kind of built up a momentum for our performance today. You know, we have a lot of expectations as far as representing the United States. And so it's really exciting, but it's also kind of, you get your nerves going a little bit before the show. So. My expectation is that we'll have thousands of people standing out in the audience, everybody cheering, because it's a terrific day for Moscow. Fortunately for us, uh, this festival coincides with Day of Moscow. You could uh, see uh, big stages uh, in the center of Moscow, very friendly audience. Because uh, your uh, performance, your performance, American performance, were very successful. This festival is exceptionally special because coming from an American perspective, we have such a limited understanding of this part of the world. I think that I came over here feeling like it would be more of a closed country, not, not so open and welcoming and warm, but it's been a lot different than I thought. The people have been very gracious and very kind, and they seem to um, have a great deal of um, respect towards, towards Americans. I think a lot of people have uh, a lot of misconceptions about what kind of people uh, yeah, the Russians are, and once you meet the Russian people, you, you see that Really, they're just like you or I or anybody. I've learned a lot of things from other musicians. For example, I learned a lot about how to play Irish guitar from this great man when we were in Moscow. And he had all the tricks. He could learn how to tune down his guitar. He could strum with such precision. Uh, 
through my friend Parminder Singh from India. He, he wasn't a musician, but he, he did music through his singing. And from him, I learned about just how to devote your heart, your dancing, your music to a higher source. And that is exactly what he did. He, I have never seen someone smile as big on stage as he did. It was magnificent. I think that the festival itself is um, a good chance for young people and for people of different ages to come uh, to show and to express the way they see this world and the way they just live. And I wish that we have such festivals once a month because it's so wonderful to meet new people, to get acquainted with them and also to show other abilities and opportunities what we can do. I many, many times try to invite uh, the group from United States because, for example, I like uh, very much uh, clo cloggers, cloggers. I liked. And I tried. I asked my colleagues, why, why, dear friends, why you cannot come to Russia? Oh, it's so expensive, it's so expensive. And at last, this year um, I met with uh, Shavanda and uh, eh, I succeeded. Uh, Shavanda said to me, yes, we will. we will try, we will do everything to come to Russia. And I'm very happy that American group, the group from the United States, come to Russia. We are so happy to be here with new friends from all over the world, building bridges of friendship and peace through music and dance. fascinated to find people from other countries and find out how they think, how they work, what their opinion is on America. You just can't get that kind of exposure just living in America. We have this idea of bettering humankind and, and contributing, but we really can do more. And the idea just came, maybe we could make some blankets. Blankets are easy and blankets signify warmth. I love the sports pants. How many blankets did you come up with, John? 210. Oh. I am really impressed that we got here with all this stuff. We get to come and perform for the refugees and bring all the blankets that we brought from Utah um, in our suitcases. Then we could go around and, and try to dance around with them a little bit. They played on my guitar. It was great. They could strum away and wear it and they just, they had such a great time and it was a time of no concern for them and a time of great reaching out and love for me. It feels really good. It's amazing to be here and to be able to make a difference in somebody else's life.